Good morning, one and all, everyone here in the chat. Thank you very much for tuning in this wonderful Saturday morning. I know it is the Saturday morning of... I cannot think of the convention name. Origins. Origins this weekend. So everyone at Origins, I hope you're having a lot of fun there. I hope... I know uh, they just had their, their local... Or not their local, their... Uh, Silver tier tournament there that was awesome. Got to see some photos of that on Discord. That was really cool. I, the two people that actually made it to the top were what Chubby Meeple and Star Fury. Star Fury is an awesome player, by the way. Haven't met the guy, kid. Crusher of opponents, other than games that I can't toss out right now. Um, but I, I was able to beat uh, Chubby Meeple, and he's an awesome dude. So really cool that all these people were able to get there and play some light seekers. Uh, not too much of a, a discussion thing today because you know it is Saturday and we're just gonna chill and play some games and you know test out some new decks, maybe go back into draft, do that stuff. But first, first, what you've all been waiting for, you all came for because it's in the title. It's a beautiful box. It's a beautiful box. He knocked you out of the last delivery crab tournament, at Starfury. Oh man, dude, the, the kid's a dominator. Kid, kid knows how to play. So, got my plastic bag here for the rappers. Got a little background music. Let me know if it's too loud. Let me know if the background music is too loud, and I'll turn it down. Um, yeah, well, I figure we'll just uh, we'll just get going on this. We'll just do it. Uh, if anyone, if anyone here knows, I'm my headphones in. It's really quiet here with the music. I want to hear it too. I want to if uh, if anyone here, that does seem a little loud to talk over, doesn't it? Let me go in. What is the volume on here? My word. It's a little better. A little better, I think, to talk over. I can always just turn the volume down here. Manually. Maybe if my computer will work. But, yeah, I mean, Starfury, he knows how to play at Selene Aggro. And Selene Aggro is just, it's so good. It's so good right now, man. As uh, as many of you know, uh, Shibes plays Selene Aggro, so he, he can attest to how good it is. And I mean, dude, that, that hero. That hero. Is so busted. My face looks a little washed out in the morning. Th th I mean, there's, a, there's literally a window right there. So... It's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's not my normal face. I don't have the lights on. If I turn... Let me try turning the lights on to see if it actually adjusts the coloring for you. I don't know if it'll just be more washed, washed out with all the lights on. But. Let's see. Did that, did that somewhat do it? That somewhat do it. I feel like I just got brighter, but you know, lights are on, so this is what we're doing for for uh, digital purposes. You know, gotta have that nice, nice quality recording. It's the Astro cards that are busted. I mean, you're not wrong. You're absolutely not wrong about that, Mud Turtle. Uh, Astral, simply, simply the fact that Astral. A majority of Astral's actions are also combined with card draw. Like, I don't know how they get away with that. I don't know how they get away with that. With no, like, potential decrease. Like, there are some cards now that have, if you draw a certain card, it does something to you. Um, but otherwise, it's just Astral's doing things while drawing cards. And if you think about it, if drawing cards is an action, anything upon that is just added action. So all of their action cards are above the generic normal value. So it's just like, what? Because um, four damage draw a card if it's solar. It's like, yeah, it's easy to set up for. But now that card becomes ridiculously good if it's four damage. Like, it should be 
like four damage and then if solar is on top it's two damage draw a card like you get to this it's a lower decrease but drawing a card is clearly what's more valuable here and i don't think i don't think they have that in mind but um like i said i don't know their whole algorithm of uh, uh point systems of how they average out action cards compared to one another so I'm, I'm not about to say like, oh, Astral's so broken because it does this. And then like, then they'll come up with a post and be like, no, actually it's fine. We've done the numbers. It works the same as everyone else's. And it's like, oh, it's okay. The number's there. The numbers are there. So, um, but yeah, yeah, guys, first pack. Okay. So, so I have, I have some, some questions for you guys. 10 healing remove two attack cards in a turn. Yeah. Right. That seems fine to do. Um, so I've, I've opened three boxes so far, and the mythics I've pulled are Onyx, Destined Power, and the, the other... I, I have both tricolor combos now and Onyx. So I'm hoping for either Illidan or Rylox, because those are the only two mythics I don't own yet. Um, I have eight of the seven cross-order combos, so I'm halfway there. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to get them all in one box, but I feel like I've flushed out my collection really well so far. I don't know how many duplicates of the rares I have yet. Don't know how many of those. Um, but I, I want to ask you guys, what mythic do you think that I'll pull in this box? There's only five to choose from. Lightseer Cassilia, good morning, good morning. Um, I know me and you have been chatting a little bit this morning before I went live, and I'm sorry I, I had to like stop that conversation to go live. I, I will catch up with you in a bit. Um, but yeah, I figured, what, what mythic... What mythic... You, Rocket Star says Illidan. He hopes to pull Illidan. Um, I mean, I haven't pulled I haven't pulled a duplicate Mythic so far in three boxes, and I feel pretty happy about that. Seeing as how there's only five to choose from, Illidan or Rylox. Okay, okay. I, I like those odds because those aren't the ones I have yet. Those aren't the ones I have yet. Um, now this is this is going to be a video type thing that uh, I will post to YouTube and we'll do our box on opening because me and Wolf of the U. Uh, and anyone, I guess, who wants to participate in this, uh, just film your box opening and uh, kind of tally up your scores. But if anyone can track down the the point system that Wolf with a U has tallied up and made, so that I can, you know, do my official point for the box. Um, if we're right, do we win it? No, no. Come on, man. Is that what? Oh, good size. What is what is this? Oh, perfect. He found it. Okay, sweet. Uh, one point for a foil rare. Three for a foil hero. Four for a mythic. Five for a mi foil mythic. Okay, okay. I got to figure out a way to do a point system here. Hold on. Give me a sec because we're going to be adding stuff to this scene. Um... Doing it live, guys. We're doing it live. Alright, so. Uh, Right. I misspelled here. You know what? It's the morning. I'm allowed to have these typo errors when I clearly just haven't had my coffee. There it was. Okay. But thank you for the catch, for, you know, not letting me look like a doofus the entire time I stream. So, all right, all right, we have this going. I wish there was a way to, to open this text box a little bigger, but there's not. That's a shame. We'll have to do it, like, really awkwardly manually. So everything looks fine there. We're good. Uh, it's going to add up my points for one of the box, for one box. I might not film it, though. Uh, I didn't buy boxes. It's just the crab collection. Hoping to buy singles 
uh, of the other stuff. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a really good thing to do. I think there's only there's only like 20 singles that you don't get out of that. And that's the 15 cross-order combos and the five mythic cards. So, like, you're only missing 20 cards of the entire collection. That's not bad. That's not bad at all if you buy the Crab Collection. Or if you were able to. I, I don't, I'm not sure if he still has it up because it was a pre-order type of uh, specific thing to do. So, awesome, awesome. So we have... I d oh, does he still have it up? That's awesome. See, because see, I don't know, but like, I wanted to post him like, "Hey, man, if you if you need help opening boxes, I, I I love opening boxes. I'm fine with that. That's man, I love doing that. I'll I'll help you with it, man. I will come I will come to Waukesha or wherever your boxing is, and just unbox everything with you. It'll be fun." Oh, box openings are so fun. I'll set up my I'll set up my uh, Twitch stream there. Me and him will just chat and open cards, just for like four hours or probably longer than that. Actually, we'll just tear open some cards. It'll be great. But uh, all right, guys. Also, from what I've been noticing, I don't know if it's if it's just me, but this is my fourth box now. Where if you guys start opening booster packs, after after the or um, yeah, it literally is. The uncommons, the uncommon cards in the booster pack, in the booster pack, are all flipped upside down. I don't know why that is, but every single pack I've opened so far has done the commons, like this, then the uncommons, and then we're to the rare and the foil. And I have no idea why that is, but every single booster pa booster pack I've opened in three boxes, and I just looked at this one, so it looks like four boxes soon, is that way. And I want to know if anyone else has that issue, or that, not really, it's not an issue. If they, if they have that when they're opening packs, like, why are three of my cards turned upside down always? Because I, I want to know if it was just something in their, in their, in their packing, or what it was. But I just, I just opened this up and I'm like, I wonder if it's the same as yesterday. And it is. And it is. Um, also, I, I probably should have saved one of my box openings, because I pulled, uh, uh, the, the, not Destined Power, what's the third? Well, not the, third, the second try order combo. I got that one in foil, and I was super excited when I opened it. I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I'll have to show it to you guys when I, if I find it in my box. Restoring the Echoes, yeah. I pulled a foil Restoring the Echoes last night, and I was I was ecstatic. And my girlfriend's just like, what? It's a card. And I was like, you don't understand. It's beautiful. And she's like, oh, oh it's because it's shiny? <laughs> yeah. But you're making it sound less cool when you say it like that. And then we continue watching TV because we were, you know, just chilling, having some beers. But, uh... <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, there are reprints in here, so... You know, if some of these names are going to seem a little little common, that's fine. I have my iPad here, just like I did for my Warhammer thing, so I'll just be kind of sliding the cards there. Uh, I will I will show you the cards, either if they're foil, or if they're the rare ones, obviously, because those I feel like... I feel like those are the ones that are important to see. Are the foil ones and the rare ones. All the other ones are just like, we've, we've seen them before, right? Um, so otherwise I'll just, I'll read the cards out that I get so we can do this a little quicker. Uh, and we can kind of tally the scores because we're only, we're only counting the rares. So that's cool. If you guys really want to see a card, what it looks like physically, just let me know. I'll find it in the pile and we'll, uh, we'll make sure you get your image. Not scanned, but you know, image. So I got a phase shift. Oh God, I got to find out where my camera's set up. There it is for the most part. I got an Umbron Marauder. You know, I got a Giga Blender. Yes. Uh, Everox Saboteur. Uh oh. Maybe I gotta. There we go. I gotta make sure. Like, my camera's really close to the ground, so all this stuff, I gotta make sure it actually scans in. Got another Soul Thief. I got a Blast Chamber. The card that has uh, has done me wrong on several occasions in draft, where I've, uh, I've been trying to make just tech draft work, and it's just. It's a lot more difficult than I thought. Prowling Shimmer Paw. Also, I've been noticing the the consistency in these uh, in the the uncommon slot for the items is incredibly high. Like I just pulled three items for my uncommons in this pack, and they're all like the the bland. Um, what do you want to refer to as the the superior items? So I, I don't know if that's also a thing, but I've been getting a lot of these items in my uncommon slots. Uh, I got a swarm caller. I got an oversized wrench and a blasting cannon. Uh, then my rare, you gotta cover up like one corner so you guys can't scan it from me. 
Daybreak Brawler. Man, check that. I should probably turn my green screen off too, huh? This is what the card looks like. There's actually a hole in the card, and it actually goes right through, even through my face, to my beautiful background. This is this is what all cards should look like when you look at them like this. It should just be a hole in it. Let me turn my green screen off for you guys. Oh man. Okay, let me just let me just go ahead in here and let me configure this. Um To right click into the, into the properties. That's where it is. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Maybe it's in the background. Is the background the properties? Nope, nope. How? Oh, filters. That's where it is. That's where it is. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel weird, but it's the only way to do it where, you know, these green... These green creebles don't just blow off the screen. So there we go. There we go. There's there's the rare. There's the rare that we all love to see. And I just toss it into my desk. And then I got a, a foil lightning storm. So, so far... So far, no points for me. We're off to a rocky start. But we have 23 other packs. We have 23 other packs to do. I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. Ah. All right, all right. I have Spark Weave. Nice little storm combo there. Get that right in the camera slot. Perfect. Impressed Crab. God, that guy's top hat is amazing. It's so cool. Creebot. Reckless Tinkerer. The Vibrant Plume Tail. Draga Hoarder. Thornleg Scuttler. Yeah, my ra my uncommons are all flipped upside down. I don't know why. I don't know why they are. Uh, oh, I got my buddy Green Thumb finally. I I love Green Thumb. He is the the heart and soul of my new forest buff deck. The guy the guy just knows what to do. We got ourselves a Dusk Snout Defender, Creeble Saboteur, and then for our rare, got ourselves a nice Creeble Racer. Legit. Legit Creeble Racer. Once again, attack that has to do with dealing damage to yourself. So maybe maybe we should try. If if tech ever comes up, if tech ever comes up in a draft again, I think like I need to try it under the volition of I need to see if I can make tech and draft work. In my opinion, it's like one of the most difficult, like hardest ones to do. But I feel like I I owe it. To redeem myself in tech draft. I owe my I owe it to myself to do it. Alright, next pack is Poisonous Mist. We got the Sparkback Defender. Shady Recruiter. Prism Bite Scuttler. Wilderness Mystic. Canopy Crawler, another reprint. Tainted Miasma. And then my rares are all flipped turned upside down. I I or not my rares, my own comments. It, it's got to be a printing thing, right? When they package them, they they just put them put them in upside down or something like that. Got a gust frog. Got an abyss tunneler, and a captain rotbeard. And then our rare, our rare is the rockbound twister. Now this one I haven't seen a whole lot. I haven't seen a whole lot. Uh, sir sneaks a lot. I to, to make this go a little faster instead of like holding up all the cards. Like this. I can do that if you guys want. If you guys really want so I can hold the cards up. I'm just trying to do this because we've all seen them on the app so far. I'm just trying to show off the rares. Um, but if you guys want me to hold up all the cards, I can definitely hold up all the cards. Um, and then I got myself a foil wormhole scuttler. Oh, so pretty. Look at the foil on that thing. So, if, I mean, if you guys, like I said, if you want me to hold up the cards, I will I'll be sure to hold up all of them. And then, um, and then scan them all in. I'm just trying to... Since we've all seen them digitally, I'm just trying to uh, get through this by showing the Raiders off um, as soon as possible. Because when I did my last box on opening, oh no 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 my my uh, I don't have a second camera. I have an iPad which I'm using to scan them in, um, so that I can still get this stuff into the game uh, and then play it for gold and whatnot today. 
Um, but yeah, if I had a second camera, it'd be awesome to put it down like that. But unfortunately, I only have the one webcam. So I, I am sorry about that. Um, also, I'm not sure. Did, did, uh, I know Warhammer has it. Did... Um, did... Wow, Lightseekers. Did Lightseekers get that same thing where um, you can hold them up to the video cam and they can scan them in through your computer? Did they get that? My dad says hold them up. All right, all right, I'll hold them up. I'll hold them up, Mr. Mud Turtle. Got ourselves a sun strike. You know. Everox Saboteur. I just got to make sure I hold up a corner so you guys don't start scanning my cards. The the one and only hammer down enforcer. The beautiful hammer down. You know the one that I've 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 been been commenting on how we need something like that for I, I, two years now. Got the lurking horror. Sheltering cavy. Holding up these cards is so weird now. Territorial mudfoot. Or the Territorial Mud Turtle, as some people some people so call him. Got our Pyroclastic Blast. Very nice one. And then, yeah, this is this is literally how they come. The Inertia Meddler. Or Mediator. Like, all three of them are coming upside down. It's so weird. It's so weird how it does that. Uh, the Mossfoot Gardener. It's, it's really nice to see that nature's finally getting some just basic four heals. Some basic four heals. I got myself a rock ball. I'm getting a lot of these items. And then our rare is the Gyro Master. Let's just get a quick look at that art. Oh. My camera does not do these cards justice. Gyro Master is so sweet. Such a sweet looking card. And then a foil weaving mistral. Just look at how his clouds sparkle in the light of day. It's glorious to look at. Look at. So far, literally no points so far. I feel like I'm just going to get zero points, and that's going to be a box opening, and we'll just kind of lie and be like, no, I totally tallied up points for the other box where I got a foil mythic. Trust me, I'm that good. Mm -hmm. Didn't didn't switch it out at all. Just go here and flip those other ones upside down. I accidentally snuck a peek at the rare. Made me happy. Alright, alright. Creeble Reconstructor. Overload. Wormhole Scuttler. The Shade Hoof Scapegoat. I really want Discord Discard to become a thing, but I don't think right now. There's enough cards to make it, like, extremely viable. You can do some gimmicky stuff with it, and I'm sure someone out there has made, like, a strong, strong deck that, like, I'm just not seeing. But uh, the best one I can come up with is just that Gorehog Chopper. It was just really consistent on doing what it's thing. Uh, me and Freshen actually... Or Freshen actually started it. I took it and uh, took my own spin on it. Uh, I got another Soul Thief. Soul Thief is just a solid, solid card. Uh, Baron Wood Butcher. Baronwood Butcher. Nice card for discard. Very nice card for discard. We got our Reckless Tinkerer. I'm still trying to figure out if Reckless Tinkerer has a spot in tech. Because, like, restarting some people's buffs could be good. Shibes, good morning. Welcome to the unboxing video, man. Uh, and then our old slash new slash amazing friend, the Deer Cage of Oppression. Because, you know, if if it didn't, it'd scre immediately scream, Hello, Shives. It's Cage of Oppression, right? Shives comes in. The next card I show is is the most oppressive card we've seen before. It's no coincidence. I'll tell you that. Uh, filth Snout. We got ourselves a Filth Snout. Not a lot of people running this guy. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's a if there's a, a fun meme deck with him. I'm not sure. Creeble Saboteur. Everyone's seen this guy before. And then... Guys, we're finally on the board. We're finally on the board. I pulled a, a duplicate Destined Power. Oh, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? So I now, I, I now own two Destined Powers. Mmm. Mmm, beautiful. Beautiful! So we'll go ahead and just... Uh, get 
get ourselves on the board for that right there. Look at that. We finally have a point. And then a nice foil inertia mediator. Or meditator. I keep saying mediator, and it's not. It's not mediator. It's meditator. He meditates. He doesn't mediate. That was only what? Like, that was our fifth pack. And we already opened a, a mythic. What are the chances we'll open another one? But now I do have a duplicate destined power. If anyone would like to trade, I'm looking for one of the other two mythics. So if you guys have a, a spare Illidan or spare Rylock, more than happy to trade. I'm just, I'm that nice of a guy. Wilderness Mystic. Very nice card, very nice. Matter Manipulation. I'm, I, I do need to sit down and try and find a deck that's in tech that uh, does some just really, really hinky things with self-damage. The the new two combo constants, or the new uh, cons constant combo buffs that do things like that. Uh, I can't think of the four cost one off the top of my head. Canopy Creeper. It's an insect card that works with beasts. Lush Lost Behemoth. Dude. I'm telling you, Fair Pang only got better. Fair Pang only got better. Got ourselves a, a Bramble Spike Caretaker. Spatial Dilution. Thank you, Rocket Tsar. Thank you. I can always count on you, man. Got ourselves another Weaving Mistral. Lush Lost Explorer. I haven't seen a whole lot of people been playing this one. I honestly have not. Um... I don't know if it, it's probably just because literally the, the card pool in Astral, the cards that are already out are so good that uh, Lush Lost Explorer literally feels bad in comparison to all the other cards that you have access to, right? And then all the rares are flipped turned upside down. Dusk Snout Defender. Oh yeah. Got ourselves a Wild Root. A lot of these weapons. A lot of these weapons are coming up, man. And a Cabal Sorceress. And a Cabal Sorceress. And our rare is Anchored Soul. Very nice. I personally haven't d d uh, dabbled a whole lot in nature as of late. Oh, my camera's been messed up. How many did I not scan here? Did I get that in? My iPad camera was, like, freaking out. Okay, I got that one. What about that one? Yep. Okay. It was, just, it was literally just like one card I didn't get. Um, but yeah, Anchored Soul. I haven't done a whole lot in nature outside of just my, my fun forest buff deck that I've been messing around with. Speaking of forest buffs, Foil Green Fum. Oh, this thing. This thing means more to me than that Destined Power, in all honesty. Green Fum is my, green fum is my man. If, if forest buff nature is going to be good, it's because of Green Fum. If it's going to be the Rock All-Star... It's going to be green foam. Shibes could win in his sleep. He was pretty much passed out when he was playing me, and I almost lost. So, I mean, probably could. I'm like just having a really good REM sleep. Shibes could, Shibes could win. I'm hands down. Autopilot Selene into, into victory. Here's what you do, though, when he's sleeping. You turn his discard pile into his graveyard. You just kind of switch those around. That way, when he's auto-drawing, it's like the, the computer program just can't read where the deck is. So he just he does the motion, but nothing happens. That's how you win. He's literally cheating. That's, that's the only way to beat Shives while he's sleeping, is you literally just have to cheat. <laughs> All right, next pack. We got our lily, put, lily Pad Lurker. A lot of these Storm cards with their mechanics, they're running with their... Um, uh, like combo uh, utility cards they are so good they did a, a phenomenal job working on uh, the new utilities for this new set for really fleshing out those archetypes really making these uh, kind of these, these new uh, deck deck archetypes work a lot better uh, Mage Shift and Lightning Storm in case you guys didn't read those Corpse oh, Corpse Crawler nice little insect this guy's actually been performing pretty well uh, in some games, especially in like a graveyard based deck. Corpse Crawler is just nuts. Got ourselves a Kree bot. I have yet, I really have yet to make, uh, make a, 
uh, Kribo based tech deck work. I've tried. It is so difficult to do. Um, then again, I go full memes, so maybe there's just a better way to do it that's like not run as much, but still make Kribot work pretty well. Uh, Leafweb Wanderer. I like Leafweb Wanderer. Another Wilderness Mystic. Wilderness Mystic's just a good card. And then oh, they're all flipped up, they're all flipped upside down. Got ourselves another Gust Frog. A bubbly relic. Doesn't look like a relic. It looks, you know, pretty polished. Almost as if people were still wearing it. I wouldn't refer to it as a as a relic. Got an oversized wrench. A rare is a Kreeble Potion Master. Man, it's, that's not an Uprising Rare. That's an Uprising Rare reprint. Come on, man. And then a, a beautiful foil singing blade. My, my headphones are just falling out of my ear. I, I think it's because I smile too much and they just pop out. You know, I'm just, I'm just a generally happy person. And me smiling just makes me not want to listen to anything. Working overnight is the secret to my victories. Shives, you put in. You put in those long hours so you can win at any time. You can come in, reclaim your throne. some of these all right shady recruiter beautiful card it's been working wonders in a lot of my decks poisonous mist poisonous mist it i'm not sure if anyone actually runs poisonous mist in main deck i don't know how many beast decks we're really coming up against to run it in main giga blender card's just a solid card i like it a lot the Lush Lost Trader has been working wonders in my new Chimchu deck. Territorial Mudfoot. Not bad. Not bad. The Awestruck Tourists. I really want to try and build a location deck that sees if I can make this card work. I don't know how, but I just want to see if there's a deck that actually Lush Lost or Awestruck Tourists is decent in. Got ourselves a Puddle Volter. Another Interior me Meditator. Card's just a lot good. Dude, Mudfoot's... Right? Potion Master Mixie. This is one that we were trying to get work in. Like, a f we had some success. I shouldn't say we. Rockets are had some success. Uh, but otherwise, we were just we were trying to go full ham. And do way too many creeble things with it. Got ourselves another singing blade. Another singing blade. Guys. Guys. I got Illidan. I got Illidan. Oh! Oh, that's beautiful. We're not even halfway through this pack. And I've pulled two mythics. I've pulled two mythics. Dude, we're not, like, we're not even halfway through the box, and I've pulled two Mythics. I'm literally only missing one Mythic, so whoever has a Rylox, whoever has a Rylox, I have a Destined Power I'm willing to trade for it, unless I pull it in this box, unless I pull it in the box. Yes, Rocket Star, you did call it. Oh, man. Dude, I'm so excited. I got Illidan. I got Illidan! Such a good box. I'm so glad I called this one, you know? So glad I called it. Alright. Let's turn some of these cards upside down. I haven't got any crossword combos so far, though. And I've, I got quite a bit of them last time. Got ourselves a Weaving Mistral. Weaving Mistral. Reclamation. Dude, th this card, like, Reclamation is so much better than I gave it credit for. And I haven't even played a whole lot of nature yet. Uh, Bramble Spike Caretaker. Who all right now has been playing on ranks? What's What's been the, the top decks on rank outside of the Cage of Oppression Curator Arwin decks? Got ourselves a High Flusher. 
Have there been any on there that's like been surprisingly strong? Or have people just been playing High Curator Arwen Cage Repression decks to kind of the fatigue style play that everyone's still playing? Leafweb Wanderer again. Not bad. Lush Lost Explorer. Pretty decent one here. Baronwood Butcher. Gotta love those Umbrons, man. Gotta love them. They're so good. Abyss Tunneler. Because the Abyss package, you know, it clearly needed more support. Uh, Jaded Diplomat. Feels good. Feels good to get another one of those. Sleeping Volcano. Now this one... This, I'm just, I'm having a hard time finding and seeing if this is actually a good card. We have yet to try and build a Sleeping Volcano deck. Maybe we'll try that today. And then our rare is a nice Eternal Hunter. The good boy, the best boy. For all those Umbral cards that you want to draw. Then we got a Foil Astronomer. Nice little, nice little foil card there. Has anyone tried... Uh, dabbling outside of the norm into ranked and see what else works. This is what looks weird. This. There we go. I was like, why does that look so funny on camera? It's because it was turned upside down. I put it in my updated version of Ferris as it is sta uh, standing fire card that can potentially trigger. Has it been working? Have you been able to get it to trigger off successfully because so I feel like Sleeping Volcano is one of those where you're just like yeah it'll totally work and then like it just it takes too long to rotate forward you didn't want oh did you use the um what is it the element that rotates your buffs one step forward I played versus Zemus he was running a crystal hero nice no wait how did you get a trigger off in one round Or are you talking about like in one in one game, one match? It's like in one round. I'm thinking of that as like in like one turn, one game. Okay, okay. Oh, grab the collector. No, I, Celia, do not apologize. I'm. It's too early here too. It's like eight thirty in the morning. My my girlfriend's still laying in bed with the cats, and I'm like, all right, I gotta be quiet. I gotta try and try and build some stuff up. Of course it. Of course it. Of course, I cages. We got ourselves a, another steel fortification for all you guys who, who love some love some strong steel. We got Lynx. Well, it's Destin. We're playing a Lynx deck, apparently. Lynx is the best hero. He's like number 12 on leaderboards. Interesting. Lush Lost Behemoth again. Gotta love those beasts, man. These beasts are so cool. Flame Shard Giant. Flame Shard Giants are really cool. Another blast chamber. So beautiful. So beautiful to do. The territorial mudfoot. Man, these mudfoots, they're everywhere. They're so good, so powerful. Creeble Reconstructor. Very nice. Getting a lot of these Creeble cards. I'm loving it. Umbron Informant. Not bad. The reprinted version. To only draw up to four cards now. Got ourselves another cold snap. Another cold snap. Then we got a Creeble Saboteur. Everyone loves that good Creeble guy. Finally! I think this is actually a new one, too. I don't think I own this one. Spark Slip. Yes! Spark Slip is so good. So good. I think that's up to nine different cross order combos for me now. And you need to stay inside of my ear. Just duct tape it in there. I don't know. Lilypad Lurker. Beautiful. Beautiful card. But, oh, that makes me so happy that I finally pulled a, a different uh, cross-order combo. I'm trying to think. I, I might only have one duplicate cross-order combo as well. I, I, I didn't pull as many as I would have liked to, but I pulled a good amount. I pulled a good amount. All right. This crab is so happy. If if Matt Sonnenberg, the deliver crab himself, does not cosplay as this at Gen Con this year, clearly is doing something wrong. Someone get that man a top hat and a monocle 
and have him go as the most impressive crab you've ever seen. Beast control. Nice little combo that we've seen before. The anti-gravity bot. Mm, beautiful, beautiful card. Lurking horror. This card has been doing some, some, a lot of work. Well, it's, it's bad English. That's very improper English. Lurking horror has been putting in the work since uh, Putrid Shaman left. Mossfoot Tribe Rider. Not bad. I tried to get him to work, but it's just it's not as consistent as all the other decks that are out there right now that just run attack cards. Lurking Horror. Lurking Horror. Once I got two in one pack. Nice little high flusher. You know, all that insect secret hate that you have out there. Time Worm. Now that it has burn on it. Oh, another cage of oppression. Let's just, just go ahead and look at this art a little bit more, okay? About why this card is busted. That combo with Sergeant Ironbark would do 8 damage per turn. Dude. Sergeant Ironbark is where it's at, man. Rock Maul. Because everyone's seen a good Rock Maul lately. And then we have our nice little Giant Stomper. Giant stop. Once again, a Kribble card, or a, a, a tech card that requires Kribble cards. And I'm trying to figure out if there's just a good, consistent way to make that deck work. How many cards are in a pack? Uh, and then Foothill Sentry. Let me do a quick math, because I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head if I know. So let me scan this one in quick. Foils always take a little bit to scan. Um... I'm not even sure if it says on here. I'll just have to count them. Let me just count these out real quick for you, Shibes. Twelve. Twelve carbs coming to pack. So you have, um... Seven uncommons, three commons, one rare, and then one foil at the back. Anti-Gravity Bot. Nice little card. Nice little card here. Shelter and Cavi. Not bad. Like it. Fair pang. All the way. Tainted Miasma. Now this little this little combo has been seeing himself in a lot of fun decks lately. Another Hammerdown Enforcer. In case you guys, you know, hated Crazed Bomber and needed another card. Another Foothill Sentry. The, the beautiful Umbron Marauder. I think that was the case for... Was it the case for Kindred? Because right now there's only been 12 cards in every pack and one rare and then one foil. That also might be the case for Warhammer as well. Warhammer might have that way. Reckless Tinkerer. Um, but yeah, I'd have to... I literally have a Kindred pack right here I could open. I could open a Kindred pack and just take a look. Um, but yeah, as far as that, all these packs have only been 12. So I don't know if they changed it with their own distribution. Uh, got ourselves a nice Soil Tunneler. This card is legit so good. Deep Sea Hunter Rock. Because, you know, some of these cards just weren't broken enough. They had to make another one. Bubbling Relic again. Not bad. Ooh, sweet. I got a Terraform. I'm not actually sure if I owned this one either yet. I don't know if this is duplicate or not. I have to look. The Terraform is so good. So strong. You know, the it had to reprint, of course, because it was an OTK with it before when it was uh, the Lurper Cannon. Everyone loved the Lurpa Cannon. Uh, and then a nice, nice Corpse Crawler. But we have two cross-order combos now. And two Mythics. No foil heroes. Or no rare heroes, even. Not even a foil rare yet. At least not that I pulled. Maybe I did and I haven't added it in. There we go. Alright, guys. So that's halfway through the box. Halfway through the box two mythics 
I'm feeling pretty lucky. I'm feeling pretty good about my odds. The foil corpse, corpse crawler? Yeah, dude, a lot of these foils look legit. A lot of these foils look awesome. Alright. Got ourselves a solid sun strike. Puddle Volter again. The most impressive crab you'll ever see. In impressed, Matt. Another corpse crawler. A lot of these uncommons, you know, pretty easy to do. Puddle Volter again. Feels pretty solid. Another Creebot. I literally need to find a, a new Creeble deck to make with these all these uh, mechanical things. Thornleg Scuttler. Thornleg Scuttler. A Gorehawk the Chopper. Oh. See, I'm really happy that I have all these cards now because now I can actually go into my decks and make them physically and play with them. Jaded Diplomat. Instead of just being like, hey, do you want to play a game on our phones? I can make these decks now. I can make all of the decks. Subdued Charger. All right, Mud, just, just to make things go a little quicker, I will only show the Raiders and Foils again. Stormbringer. Oh, such a good card. Stormbringer is so good. Finally, a Foil Rare. A foil Unruly Mob. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Unruly Mob is actually a really, really nice tech utility card. So we got ourselves Foil Rares. So we have... We have some points on the board. We have some points on the board now. I think we're up to we're up to ten. Or no, I was a rare hero. We just have a foil rare. Wrong slot. My bad. We're up to nine points with this one pack or this one box so far. Feeling pretty good about nine points. We got a mage ship. Everyone knows what that card is. Impressed crab. The nebulous shift. This one I haven't seen as much as I thought I would. Nebulous shift is not. It's not a bad card. It's just like there's aggro to be done. So why run anything that's not aggro, right? Uh, Reckless tinkerer. Another mossfoot tribe rider. Another hammered on enforcer. Umbron marauder. The shackles of undeath. The, the four cost combo in Dread that I was very underwhelmed by with all the other other uh, undead synergy cards that we were given before. Got ourselves a, Krangle, a Chrono Wrangler, a Paralysis Bug. Then we got a Creeble Potion Master for our rare. Fancy Dancy, everyone knows what he is. And a Foil Wilderness Mystic. I love the art on these new cards, guys, and the foils only make them better. Oh, they look so pretty. They look so pretty. So pretty. That right there in the box. Got ourselves a life binding. Quart. The hero among heroes. The champion of the champions. Shelter and Cavi. Crystallizer. Bramble Spike Caretaker, Spark Back Defender, Prison Bite Scuttler, Creeble Saboteur, Sleepy Crab Staff, Dusk Snout Defender, and then our rare is my good old friend, the Mossfoot Beast Tamer. Yes! Can we just can we just appreciate that Fair Pang is finally coming to fruition for me? Fair Pang. He's such a good hero, dude. Such a good hero. Sounds good, Cecilia. Have a good one. Enjoy your OP. Get those kids cracking and get them, get them building decks. Get them stomping it. Have them, have them rewatch Star Fury gameplay. And look, look up to him as an idol. It'll be great. And then matter manipulation is our nice foil, which only leads me to believe that I have. I'm destined 
I am destined to build a deck with this. We have a Foothill Sentry. We have a Crystalline Reflection. We got a Hired Saboteur. Wilderness Mystic. Oop, the Saboteur will scan in. There we go. A Weaving Mistral. The Lush Lost Explorer. Vibrant Glare. Clock Smasher Crud. Yes. Dude, Clock Smasher. Fairpang is a good hero, haven't noticed. Shibes, if you if you need uh, a little reminder, um, if only someone could have been possibly videotaping our games, if only someone could have been videotaping our games, you would have a constant reminder of why Fairpang is a good hero. Got ourselves a Rustforge Assembly, a Howling Blade, another Unruly Mob. Getting a lot of these now, now that the reprints. And oh yes! I think this is a new one, too. A foil calibration stance. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that thing shine. I don't think I own this one yet, either. So I think I'm up to 10 of the 15 crossover combos. I think I'm up to 10 of the 15 ones. Which is legit. But I have that many out of just four boxes. It'll scan in. The foil ones don't like to scan in. Come on, Calibration Stance. I need you in my app. I need you in my app. It's being finicky. I don't like it. I know you can scan, man. I know you can scan. Uh, yes, mud. That actually is a point. A foil rare is a point for me. So we have two foil rares now. I don't think there's a foil rear crossover. I think it's just a foil rare is what it counts under. Well, calibration stance is not going to scan in, so I'm going to put this to the side and try and scan in later. Feel it should be? I mean, I do too. Over a foil rare hero. I feel like the the rare heroes and the rare crossover combos should be about the same points, but it is what it is. Spark back defender. I'm playing by someone else's rules. I'm not about to change them just to, just because I had a good card pull. Uh, Umbron Marauder. Sheltering Cavi. Lurking Horror. Flame Shard Giant. Wormhole Scuttler. Withering. Nice little combo there. Makeshift Reactor. Dripping Dagger. The Grubby Pool. Grubby Pool, man. Got ourselves a nice little Sergeant Iron Bark. Yes! Oh, so good. So good. Look at this hero. Look at that bad boy. That comes, that comes to a point for our rare hero slot. Nice. And then the Foil Court. The champion among champions. The best of the best. Giant and Mudfoot, good combo. That is really good. Come on. Don't do it to me. You can scan these cards in. I know you can, iPad. You've done it. You've been doing so well today. Alright. Got ourselves a Giga Blender. Prowling Shimmer Paw. Draga Hunter. Astronomer, Reckless Tinkerer, Overload, Quart is your nemesis. Dude, Quart and Leo, I mean, along with Lynx, they're solid cards. Crab Rider Nietta, Gather the Herd, still, still don't think that one's a strong one, but I could be wrong. Another Umbered Informant. Another Blasting Cannon. 
Got ourselves a nice Daybreak Brawler. I really do think that I have, like, all the cards to build that legit Onyx deck that I have. And that's awesome. Cabal Sorceress. Beautiful foil. Beautiful foil. Because I do think Onyx would be a great deck to build. I really do. Onyx is just so good. Got myself a vibrant plume tail. That honestly just shows you the strongest orders in the Light Seekers. Mountain and Astral. I mean, in my opinion, Dread is really strong too. Dread is just really strong too. But uh, yeah, Mountain and Astral, like, dude, those things are just busted. Those are broken. Shady Recruiter. I think, in my opinion, along with Dread, those are the three best to uh, do in draft too. Territorial Mudfoot. Blasting Chamber, Canopy Creeper, Rock Fists, Draga Hunter, Singing Blade, Soil Tunneler, Oversized Wrench. I'm not sure how many I have of these. Uh, finally, an Epic Banquet. These cards are becoming really strong uh, with all the Creeble decks that are coming out there as well. Ratchet Garby, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, Ratchet Garby. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining the Thunderfin Army. Welcome. I'm sorry I don't have the, the notifications on this stream, on the, the Let's Talk stream. Uh, I feel bad now because, you know, subscribe me. You didn't get a subscribe uh, thing. I feel really bad. Hopefully there's a way to just uh, redo that. You just got your box opening now. Do it, Rocket. Do it. And then a foil awestruck tourist. They're so lost, but they're having the time of their lives. Gotta put an epic banquet in my Onyx build. Do it, man. I'm not sh I think in my Onyx build, I think mine has one or two uh, banquets in it to get back to territory of Mudfoots. Or not the Mudfoots. Wow, the Daybreak Brawlers. Those are the ones I get back. But I've actually been having... I had a lot of fun with the uh, the Poison one. Ratchet Garby told me you were talking about Filth Snout. I tried them out with Imbignotrons and Blast Chambers. Let me know what you think. Did you build it? JNLs, did you actually build it? I gotta know now, man. I gotta know. Corpse Crawler. Future Behemoth. Because, like, when I saw them, I initially thought that one might be a fun idea is to put the, uh, um, oh, to get the Vile Breath back. There are a lot of Creeples in that Poison deck now, too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that could be fun. Uh, Wormhole Scuttler. TS made an interesting Onyx build. Do you have it? Is it, how, how different is it from the one that you showed me? Uh, Foothill Sentry. But, yeah, uh, JNLs, do you, do you have... Uh, the deck that you tried out with uh, Phil Snot and Bignotron. I'd love to see it, man. Got ourselves a Lush Lost Trader. Anti-Gravity Bot. Overload. Bramble Wood, or Bl Bramble Warden Biome. Phil Snot Shimmer Paw. Crystal Maze. Machia the Unbreakable. Oh. Such a beautiful card. I think hers, her uh, upgraded version is probably one of the better arts that I've seen. So we got two rare heroes now. Feels good about that. And then, oh, a foil biting blizzard. Probably the unsung hero of this new set. This card is so good. I have no idea why it isn't everywhere. It's such a strong card. Yeah, but it's only decent. The water attacks are great with Invignotron. I could see that, yeah. I could definitely see that. Yeah, if you have the deck list, I'd love to see it. He uses Magmites to do another Vile Breath Creeble effect with Starhorn Tusker on top of discard. So four damage up on 
Oh, wow. With Magmites and the Star Heart? That's a lot of setup. Does it go off as consistent? Does it work as consistently as just, you know, not doing all of that, I guess? Something else I didn't think of was using Lush Lost Trades over Blacksmiths. Oh, so you can just Lush Lost Trader the Blacksmith onto the top and you're not waiting for it the entire time. Interesting. Interesting. I'd like to see the build, yeah. Give it a shot, see how consistent it works. But, like, I mean... It's more dynamic. It sounds like it. Uh, I got a Zenith. High Flusher. Yeah, I mean, the Mimicking Magmites along with it, that could just be a huge turn. Less dead cards. Yeah, I can see that. Got himself a Mage Ship. Draga Hunter. Hired Saboteur. Shady Recruiter. Sorry, guys. Still early in the morning for me. Shade Hoof Scapegoat. An Abyss Tunneler. The Bubbly Relic, another Sleeping Volcano, and the card that is was so popular when it was came out, Road 202. I don't know if anyone has actually play, been playing this card and been doing well with it. Everyone's like, this card is so busted, how do you do it? And now everyone's like, oh, it takes way too long to get under, it's, it's fine. Uh, Lush Lost Behemoth, nice little foil big guy there. Feels good. Feels like a solid card. This makes me wish I shared my Onyx ideas, but I tried to keep them secret. Shives, you shared it with me! And then not two days later, Mud Turtle told me about how he put Vile Breath Creebles in, and I was literally like, that sounds a lot like what Shives told me at the at the Ohio Gold. And so I I did give you credit that you came up with it uh, while, while Mud showed me his. Um, but... Damn, it, it's, it's tough being competitive trying to come up with all these cool decks and then the casual players realize them too and they share them and they're like, oh, this came out really good and you're like, I had the idea first. I, I'm, I'm a smart guy. We all know you're smart, Shives. We all know you're smart. We all know you're an intuitive deck builder. You show it by crushing the dreams of everyone else. That's so fine. Or there's Mud Turtle who just shuts you down immediately, apparently. Woo! Hyper Rewind. Awestruck Tourists. An Umbron Marauder. A Crystallizer. A Vibrant Plume Tail. A Foothill Sentry. Flame Shard Giant. A Water Spout. Sleepy Crab Staff. Wild Root. And then another Unruly Mob. If anyone just needs Unruly Mobs, I feel like I'm getting a dime a dozen here of this rare card. And then, oh, we can finally add another point to the board. We got ourselves a Rockbound Twister. Mmm. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Go up here for the Foil Rares. Put that number up to three now. You're just, you're, you're, your deck building skills are on the down low, Shives. Whereas me and Mud more than happily share with the community of our, our secret thoughts. We're just, we're two birds of a feather who apparently don't flock together. That's all it is. RG, Rakshi, Garby, and I streamed yesterday. We didn't save the video off, though. Oh, no, you did? When? So is is the video saved on your Twitch file? If not, you need to go into the uh, go into the settings, and um, turn on uh, like archive the videos for sixty days. No, when did you stream? Did you post it on? Did you share it to like the 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 Discord group that you were streaming, or did you just go live? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I missed it, guys. S 
Stormcalling, Impressed Cloud, Hired Saboteur. It was mostly a test stream, so we just went live. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, next time you guys go live, make sure to post it in the Discord channel for the content creators so everyone can come watch you guys. Sparkback Defender, Putrid Behemoth, The Creebot. I usually post mine to my Twitter to the Discord and the Facebook so that everyone knows that I'm going live no matter what platform they're most commonly using. Uh, Reclamation. The Jaded Diplomat. The Gut Belch Fanatic. The Interior Mediator. And the nice rare Nightglade Kennel. For, you know, that, that sweet Farapang build. You got a Foil Flame Hurler. Dude, is that your first pack? Foil Flame Hurley off the first pack? Benny would be so proud if you were here. Benny would be doing a, a nice slow golf clap for you. I'm still not sold. I'm still not sold. Fourth. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Alright, guys. Last pack. Last pack of the day. Meku the Young, Puddle Volter, Bairdwood Butcher, the Lilypad Lurker, the Draga Hunter, the Bramble Spike Caretaker, Territory of Mudfoot, Muddled Star Signs, Grubby Pool, Cabal Sorceress, Rocky Regeneration. What a last pull. Oh, and this is one I don't own, so I'm up to 11 cross orders. There's only four cards that I don't own out of four boxes. That's legit. And then a nice foil bubbly relic. Nice foil bubbly relic. Dude, this was a great, great box to have. Two mythics. Pulled a, uh, quite a few more of these uh, cross order combos that I don't own yet. That's phenomenal. So let me go ahead and fix my fix my webcam here. Turn my turn my chroma filter back on. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm still trying to get these to scan in. They're not doing it. They're not having it at all. Come here. My biting blizzard is not scanning in. Nor is my calibration stance. And it makes me sad. Let's try you. Can I at least get you to scan in. You're the more important one I need. No, really? Are you gonna be that way? Alright, I'll try it on my phone later. But beautiful guys. What a box to open. What a box to open. Snared, hey, what's up? So we can go ahead and set that to the side now. Uh, he shared in, Lis in Lightseeker's Discord, so I'm not sharing any one secret build. Oh, okay, that's nice to know. Good for you. 17 points. Like I would shy if he told me his. Foil Tangerine Creeble looks amazing. I know, right? 15 points. So let's see. Mythics. Mythics are 4 points each, so that's 8. Foil he or Rare Heroes are 2 points each, so that's another 4, so that's 12. Yeah, I got 15 points. 15 points on my box opening. Not bad. Not bad, dude. Opening two mythics. Two mythics in one box. I'm the luckiest man alive! Oh, I'm so good at this game. Alright, guys. There's some additional ideas of mine he doesn't he hasn't discovered out about Onyx. Still gotta keep mine kinda secret for now. 
All right, guys, you know what that means. Five hours of us trying to figure out what Shives did. That way he's not secret anymore. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, give me a little bit. I got to clean up these wrappers. I got to get readjusted and we'll jump into the game. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back and we'll play some Lightseekers. <laughs> 